<laughs> Skags. Grayston. Do you get to make up with anybody this season? You know what? I, I lobbied for a lot of things this season. Uh, number one, I wanted Claudia to have a boyfriend. Number two, I wanted a crossover with Mr. Fargo. Number three, I wanted to brandish a Tesla a couple times. I all of it. <laughs> Yeah. Our writing staff is mostly over there. I see a lot of I see Ben Rab, I see Ian Stokes, Mike Fox, I see Ian Maddox and JP, uh, JP Nickel and Mark Stern, and the whole gang is over there. Mark Stern's not one of our writers, but he basically writes them all. about the writing staff myself, it's like, um, you know, people come up and they're like, oh, you're so funny on the show, and we love your character, and... I don't and, think you're that funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, and, I, and I, I thank you, but it's really been writing. Um, we've been blessed with such amazing writers that make us look good, so... And Mr. Working. Jack Kenny. Yeah, yeah. It makes so, everything so really, funnier. I mean, Jack is there on the set every day, and Woo! it's really the, the great. You know, Woo! Sometimes, for the sake uh, of, of 
him being a good guy. Can I also, I want to just touch on too that our goal, uh, both that we discussed as a writing staff and that we discussed uh, as, a, as a cast in, in Toronto was to uh, delve deeper into their lives this year, to find everybody, uh, go outside of their warehouse life. We never want to drop, obviously, the procedural of the show, finding artifacts, nagging, bagging, tagging, but we wanted to learn more about everybody, so we found someone for Pete to fall in love with. We found, uh, we found, we even found someone that Artie has a crush on. Uh, the, the beautiful and talented Woo! Lindsay Wagner. Hello! Thank you for joining us. Woo! Uh, Can I say, her eye is not the only thing that's bionic. Oh. <laughs> 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 Letters should be addressed to any of the Clint Talk. Let's keep going, quickly. <laughs> Claudia has a has a boyfriend, and, and Micah develops uh, an interesting platonic relationship with somebody as the season goes on. That is a, a you know. <laughs> she also gets to make out with Kurt Smoller, who is uh, Cody Rhodes of WWE. Yes. She gets to make, make out session with a wrestler. So he's a punk. Mrs. Mrs. Frederick has all kind. Well, we learn Mrs. Frederick's. Mrs. Frederick's <laughs> We discover that Mrs. Frederick's lover is the warehouse. He's he's big, dark, and complex. <laughs> And you can't do that without actors who can who can handle it. And these guys all handle such great different levels. They're all funny. They all have emotional depths that we, we uh, get to go into this year. I mean, they all bring so much to the table. We're really blessed to have this group to bring those things to life for us. And so we're, we're exploring them and we'll continue to. Saul and I had a conversation once. We, we, we've made it a habit because our on-screen dynamic basically is a mirror of our off-screen dynamic. Um, you know, I, I go to Saul a lot because uh, you have years and years of experience. <laughs> Vast eons. And I'm, you know, a fraction of your age. <laughs> um, you, know, but, you know, the advice that you can, that you can offer me, Saul, and, and, and one, of, one of the things that he told me last year that I've taken with me every day is, you know, no, no. This is this is an honest thing. Is 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 you know if, if you feel uncomfortable in a scene, it's probably because you're lying. And so find a way to tell the Allison truth within the context of Claudia is what she told me. And that you know when it came down to this year, um, Claudia has this great struggle between you know coming out of this sordid past, which if you watch season one, she can't really talk about what she did with you know the 12 years of her life that her brother was missing. Um, the struggle between girlhood and womanhood and wanting to be a secret service agent and, and part of the warehouse, but, but how to resolve the fact that she doesn't really know how to deal with people. She's, she's here with, with this amazing family that she's made for herself, but then beyond that, she kind of doesn't know how to function, and that's basically me. 